Innate immunity is nonspecific and very general. It's basically the body's first response to any infection and is rapid in order to eliminate any pathogens as soon as possible. On the other hand, adaptive immunity is extremely specific and depends on memory. If the body encounters a pathogen it hasn't met with before, the response will be a little bit slower. With each time that the body is exposed to the pathogen, the response gets faster and faster. Let's take a look at this graph for a moment. So here's the initial exposure of the pathogen to the body. As you can see here, the primary immune response consists of not many antibodies. This means that it's the first time the body has come in contact with any pathogen like this, so the B cells are slow to start making antibodies. If you haven't seen my immune system overview video, B cells are white blood cells that assist the immune system by making antibodies which target pathogens. There are also white blood cells called T cells that can either warn the body that a harmful substance is present or kill infected cells, depending on what type of T cell it is. In addition, both lymphocytes can either become effector cells or memory cells. The memory cells are important for adaptive immunity because they have receptors that are specific for that pathogen and live for a long time. Effector cells are short-lived and kill the antigen for the time being. Anyways, back to the graph. So we can see that the secondary immune response is much faster and more efficient than the primary one, and this is because it's the second time that the body is coming into contact with the same pathogen. Also, the memory cells that have arisen from the primary immune response are still circulating in the body and hold receptors that are specific for the antigen. One last thing that's innate in your body regarding the immune system is the fact that you are self-tolerant. This means that your immune system doesn't attack your own body cells. If it did, then that would be like you trying to hit yourself because you think that you're your own enemy. You would have something called an autoimmune disease in which your lymphocytes have receptors that can bind to your own cells. That would not be good. Fortunately, B and T cells are tested for this in the bone marrow. If they aren't self-tolerant, then they die through apoptosis. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next week on Tangerine Education.